Alrighty, here we are, September 13th. Today is Buoy 10 update. Uh, first and foremost, um, I'm going to take a couple days off here on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So what I'm going to do is tomorrow will be my last official update as far as what is happening on the river. Uh, during one of those days off, I'll probably do a recap once I recoup and kind of take a deep breath and figure out what happened over the last 45 days. Um, so today I'll do an update, tomorrow I'll do an update for On The Water Report, and then over the next couple, three days while I'm spending some time with family, I will uh, just do a recap of the season, what worked, what didn't, what I did right, what I did wrong, what I think I should, probably should have done differently this year, and just an overall feel of how the year went. So uh, as far as how today went, it was... It was actually, it was really good. Uh, I think yesterday there were probably more fish that came through is what it kind of felt like. Um, this morning I probably honestly lost about three hours of fishing time. And that's because I figured, you know, I, the crew I had today was awesome. They were on top of it, they were great. We had a kid I didn't want to go into uh, the circle there in Owaco and just deal with all those boats and the pilings and the sea lions and everything else going on. Okay, let's just go find our own fish. Let's stay away from everybody. Let's just have a really fun day. And we did. But I think I lost maybe two or three hours here first thing this morning on that first part of the push because I figured, well, there's a ton of fish on the Washington side. The tides are right. Why are there not fish on the Oregon side? So I went over to Bowie 20 and then ran towards 22 and up through Crab Harbor, and it was a ghost town. We had one bite, and we saw one net. I don't know what it is. I can't explain it, but it seems like most of the coho are staying on the Washington side for the most part, at least these last couple tides. Uh, after that, we went up and fished through checkerboard up to the bridge with everybody else and caught plenty of fish, let plenty go, had plenty of seals, uh, harbor seals attacking our fish. In fact, I had one, we had a wild fish in the net, and while that wild fish is in the net, there's a harbor seal trying to eat through the net, trying to get him. So I'm actually hitting the harbor seal with the net as hard as I can, and he's just sitting there like, I'm not even touching him. So hopefully that wild fish made it. Uh, we finally waited until he swam off just a little bit, threw him back in the water really fast, and immediately that harbor seal was on him, but he was scooting away as fast as he could. So hopefully that little wild coho made it back. But, um, you know, it was never really on fire today. It was never really red hot. Uh, it was just consistent, which I will take consistent fishing all day, every day. As far as the weather goes these next few days, it looks like it could be a bit challenging. So if you guys are coming down for the weekend, bring ring gear, uh, be safe. The ocean's getting big too. So um, the lower river, like from checkerboard on down to buoy 10 might be a bit lumpy, not unfishable, but just be comfortable. So make sure that you're comfortable with your boat, your equipment, and uh, just be safe out there. So um, plenty of fish around. Tides are staying almost the same on this full moon. They're really not getting up to the 9, 10 foot tides. They're staying around 7, 8 foot. So these fish shouldn't be moving too much. We should be able to pattern them fairly well, but I don't know. <laughs> it's been one of those years where you think you got them figured out and then nope, you don't. So uh, that will wrap it up for today's report. Again, I'll do one more report tomorrow and then I'll do a wrap up of the entire season here over the next couple, three days when that rain is dumping down and I'm spending time with family inside after the last 45 days, I will definitely take a day on the couch. Um, yeah, so thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys one more time tomorrow and then a final season wrap up. It's been another good year. Thanks guys, we'll see you soon.